more fierce names in fashion. And my next guest made a name for herself in the fashion world when she started her digital empire with the launch of her fashion blog called Scout the City. With almost 600,000 followers on Instagram alone, Saida Silva has become a mega influencer and her content has caught the attention of Dior, Fendi, and Vogue. And she's partnered with all of them and also Bravo, who cast her on the reboot of The Real Housewives of New York. Check out her packing for the Hamptons, a fashionista always needs barely a lot of luggage. Take a look. This is my travel vibe. I love it. We're going to the Hamptons. Erin invited us out to her home, which is lovely. Girls, I really want to invite you to my house and experience my version of the Hamptons. I've never been to the Hamptons in the fall. So this is going to be really nice, and I am looking forward to a weekend away. Could you help me with my bags? They're still in the sure. house. I travel super light. I have two more garment bags. Is there a back seat? Please welcome Cy De Silva to the TFM. Hi, Cy. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Have a seat. Have a seat. What's this look? Oh my God, this is my studious look. <laughs> I have it together today. You're like Tamron Hall's a journalist, so I'm gonna come as studious yes, me. I like it. Yes. This is an amazing journey for you. You started your social media as a social media manager, and then you found the online retail startup called Required Flair. Yes. Why or how did you know? What was the moment you knew, like, this is it? This is my sweet spot. This is what I'm good at, and this is what I enjoy. You know, at first, actually, I did an internship for Alberta Ferretti, oh, and that was exciting. my first dip into fashion. I always knew that I loved it. I just didn't know what role that I could play in it. So um, I did this internship, and, you know, I worked these hours that were unheard of. <laughs> They were seven in the morning, seven at night, internships back then, you did not get paid. But for whatever reason, I loved it. I love this energy. However, I did realize very quickly I didn't want to work for anyone else. You're like, I need to have my own. I needed, I needed my own. I, I wanted I to be able to buy my own Metro cards, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, if I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna buy it myself. Exactly. We talk a lot about this series, this up and coming designer series, being inspired by the women who made me clothes growing up, and I would grow up and see these Vogue patterns. What sparked your love of fashion for yourself? Were Vogue. you like the little kid walking around with you know, I'm making yes. your own things, really. I wasn't making my own things, but I loved Vogue magazine. Oh. It was my thing. September issue was I'm everything. I'm closing my eyes watching a five-year-old walk around with Vogue magazine. I loved, I just loved the trends and fashion, and I would just sit in the corner and just look at all these things. I couldn't afford to buy anything, though. So I was well, just... Isn't that the best part? Yeah. You circle is like your dream you list. You circle it's, Because it. when you're a baby, it's the Sears catalog. And you're like, I want this. And then you grow up, it becomes Vogue magazine. Exactly, exactly. So that was that was almost like my manifestation yeah. journey into where I am. I would just circle things or rip it out and put it on the wall, and here I am. I always think about the people around us and how they dress. Like, for example, my friend Janelle Monet, when she first came out with her black and white, that was a love letter to the men and women who were wearing uniforms yeah. that she saw every day. My influence was the church, Sunday church. My mom, my aunts, they always rocked hats. I mean, I grew up in the South, so my identity of fashion was greatly formed watching those women go to church. For you as a child, what, what did you see as the fashion inspiration? I have to say the train. The train. The I train. Like I think there are so many cool, amazing, uh, just like trends and fashion and clothing and the way people felt so comfortable wearing what they were wearing on their way to work or wherever they were going. I get so much inspiration on the train. I yeah. still take the train. I love MTA going your way. Like, that's my <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just did Fashion Week, Jason Wu show. Yes. Everyone, um, and we're talking about your looks. I think we have a little few of the images of the looks that you wore. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, Thank you. How do you describe the fashion world today? Uh, fashion world is very intense. It's, it's fast paced, it's constantly moving. I mean, it is exhausting. Yeah. But for whatever, it's a it's a thrill. It's beautiful to see someone's creation come to life and, and, and really appreciate how much work goes into it. What are your two most important fashion rules you follow? Um, I definitely don't mix brands if they are words. Oh. So um, there's a clip actually in the show that you can't have one certain name on your back and one certain name on your purse. So I definitely, you know, you gotta you gotta stick to one or no labels at all. Now you have two kids. 
How do you balance, because that's the challenge, London is, London Scout is 12? She's 12. 12 years old, Rio Dash is six. Yes. Beautiful family. How do you balance wanting to dress your kids super cute with the practicality of life? Like when I took my son to pre-K, they were like, do not dress your, bring them with clothes that you don't mind getting yeah. dirty. That's true. That's hard for me. It's hard, yeah. That's hard for me. I love a stylish family. I, I mean, a, we slay. Slay together, stay together. <laughs> you know? That's the way we are. I love it. We slay together, we stay together. Up next, if you could only buy one new trend piece for fall, what would it be? Cy reveals what she says is the best investment for your wardrobe when we come back. Kicking off our Tamp and Fashion Week, and we're back with Cy De Silva, who knows a lot about how to rock the right fit. Cy agreed to give the Tamp fam a peek into her closet at her Brooklyn Brownstone here in New York to show us some of the things she's obsessed with and that she can't get enough of. Let's take a look. We're gonna be nosy. Hello, hello. We're standing in my closet. I'm gonna show you some of my absolute favorite pieces for fall. Let's start out with a good pair of cat eye sunglasses. It can really just pull your look all together. Very chic. Next is definitely something that is trending. It is ballet flats. It is Mary Janes. And I have a pair of Mary Janes that are patent leather. And I definitely will wear them with a pair of socks. But comfort is key. What I'm most excited for this fall is coats. All right, here we are. Coats are my thing. Um, I absolutely love a jacket. It is the explanation point to your outfit. One of the things that I really love about jazzing up an outfit is jewelry, especially gold jewelry. I got these amazing vintage Chanel earrings from a vintage store in Paris. I think adding a touch of gold to any outfit really just makes it a little bit more luxe. Yes, I love that. Okay, I love Cy. Your obsession with coats in uh, Diane Carroll's autobiography, she said in New York, your coat is your car. Oh, because yeah. we don't drive. And so in LA, people pull up in valet and like, oh, look at that. But in New York, she said, your car, that's the coat. She's yeah. right. Yes, she, she absolutely about so many agree. things yes. over her life. But that's, that's your statement thing. This is my statement thing. I have an obsession with coats. My husband is like, you have to stop. <laughs> At what point? <laughs> He's like, how many black coats can you have? And then I found this coat last summer, or I mean, not last summer, last fall in Paris, and it has this 80 sharp shoulder. I love that. And it's an acquired taste, but I mean, when you walk no, down no, the No, 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 that's a stunning this, coat. It is everything. That's this is everything coat. for me. And if your husband doesn't approve, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> um, Scout the City, you broke down what pieces make up the perfect capsule. That's obviously a small collection of things that you mix together. Yes. Um, what is the essential thing to have this fall? I definitely think it is a pair of ballet flats, yep. sunglasses, a really nice bodysuit, um, a belt, gold jewelry. Gold jewelry is everything. A plain white t-shirt will take you so yes. far, especially when you mix and match, and a blazer. What do you Cannot mean by quiet wrong. luxury? I know that's a big conversation. Quiet, quiet yeah. luxury. Quiet luxury is definitely a big thing. Um, going back to the no logos. Absolutely no logos at all. The, Quiet luxury is basically showing your wealth without having to say a word. Ooh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Look at everyone's eyes. Like, okay. In addition to everything else you're doing, you have a podcast with your best friend, Angela Rogers. It's called Harder Than We Thought. Yes. And you talk about life and all things that are harder than we thought. I love this. Exactly. Um, you know, my best friend is an entertainment attorney. We're both successful women who are in our 40s. We live two different lifestyles, but at the same time maintain a very solid bond of being best friends. And we really want to sit down and just chat. We wanted this conversation to feel like you're talking to your own best friend about things that has happened in life. How do you sustain just even a friendship yeah. alone? Because at the end of the day, there's so much to life that is just so much harder than we thought. Right. You know, like parenting, marriage, dating. She's dating right now, you know, um, trying to maintain successful careers, making your clients happy. Sometimes things just look so much easier and polished on social media and, and it's actually harder than we thought. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on everything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be sure to check out Real Housewives of New York Sundays, 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on Bravo and it's available for streaming on Peacock the next day and catch size podcast.
harder than we thought. Available everywhere you listen to your podcast.